to get up in front of an ensemble, but um, maybe if you just wear it when you get on the podium, if you just like announce yourself, like, okay, guys, let's let's go ahead and go, like right from the beginning, just um, even if you have to fake it, just pretend like you have more confidence, even though you're really nervous, and maybe that'll help to start off. Well, what made you say you were nervous? Uh, he was shaking a little bit, right. and he was looking down a lot. But I knew, I could tell that you had a good idea of the piece, so you did a very good job. I just think that you could put forth a little bit more of your personality right. since you had control of the piece. Yeah, the reason I ask is because we've talked about this yeah. before, and, and, and I had a, a thought or two about that, but it, it's hard. You know? It's mm -hmm. kind of like you're saying, hey, you're nervous, don't. I know. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know the, the shaking of the baton, trust me, he doesn't want it to happen. <laughs> and it's one of those nasty things, like the more you try to make it stop happening, it's yeah, going to keep happening. Uh, the trombones uh, at the master class on Monday, the that monster, monster <laughs> bass trombone player uh, did the clinic. Too bad we didn't have the clinic like after they played that concert, because I think it would have been, people would have had more rapt attention, I think, because that dude laid it down in that concert Monday night. Like, He's like 24 or something. Makes me mad. He's such a good guy. We had, yeah. had Kool-Aid after the concert together. <laughs> such a good guy. Yeah. Um, but one of the people in the Charm Moments class asked him about uh, performance anxiety. And he really opened up about that. He's like, he's what a great question because he's he says he's got the worst performance anxiety. You think you're nervous, I guarantee you got one. He's, you know, he's auditioning for things like the LA Phil and Boston Symphony and this kind of stuff. And, and he said two things. One that is it kind of intuitive and one perhaps not. Uh, and I don't really know very much about, but I'll share what he said. He said, number one, he felt like uh, nerves are more, and, and we can all relate to this, we're all more nervous if we don't feel like we're 1,000% ready. One way to, to overcome some of the performance anxiety is to just make sure you've done everything you can. You know, and I'm not saying Spencer did. Like I said, I've known Spencer, uh, and we've had this since conducting the first semester of class. You know, right? so, and, and some of this, you know, the, the, the Boston isn't entirely nerves either. You know, it's adrenaline too. And when you're excited, you, you get adrenaline pumped through your veins, and one of the side effects of adrenaline is that you're shaking. So it isn't. He's not necessarily shaking, or any of us. Just because we're nervous, we could be shaking a little bit more excited. Uh, and that's reality. So uh, Brian said that the first thing he did is he realized, you know what, I've just got to work harder so that I'm not nervous. <coughs> I know exactly what I'm going to do in the audition. Like, I know that I've listened to every recording. I know I've played every excerpt. I know I've got the, and it's funny, horn players, he said something that I know Dr. Nossel says to you all the time. Dr. Nice wasn't in the room to appreciate it. He said uh, when he's playing his excerpts in his audition, he is hearing the orchestra <laughs> in his head. And I know Dr. Nice preaches that to you all. Yeah. 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 Hearing yeah. that horn player that you admire. Not only the player, but the rest of the orchestra, the rest of the band, if it's a band excerpt. And I kind of perked up when he said that. I mean, he just, he's listened to all 19 different versions of the different orchestras around the world. And he knows he's gonna, what, what's going to happen. He knows what's going to come out of the end of his horns because he spent the time making sure that it's not rolling the dice. The second thing he said is there's these things called beta blockers, which I don't really know much about those. But uh, I would I, I would proceed with some caution, I suppose, like with any drug. I don't know if it's like a herbal thing or if it's a real drug. But you know, if this is something that you struggle with. Um, he said lots of players are doing this now. You can, you can do these things. I had a, a colleague in graduate school, some of you have been to the conducting class, you've heard about Brent Alston. He's the guy that had such bad body language when he was conducting Holst with the symphonic band at the University of Miami because he was so tough on himself that the group thought they hated him. Like I actually had uh, one of the undergrads come up to me once and listen, we know Brent's your boy, tell him if he hates us this much and we stink so bad at the Holst, like maybe he could go do it with somebody else. Like, we're tired of his nasty glares all the time. And Brent's the nicest guy to ever walk the planet. It was such an amazing thing, because I said, oh, man, you guys, that's, he's making that face because he thinks he's the worst conductor in the 
has ever walked the earth, and he doesn't belong even in the same room with you. He, he's so mad at himself because he thinks you're too good, and he's so bad. But it was funny that the group was perceiving me the opposite. So it was kind of a healing moment for everybody there. But uh, Brent, on his recital day, was taking these things called calms. This little jar, I just got laughed at it. It said calms on Saturday. I said, what is it? They're calms. So what was it called? I don't know. It's called Pocketies. Anti-indigestion, they're like chalky kinds of things. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe yeah, that's right. Maybe somebody just wrote it in a marker and it was like Flintstone vitamins, but it made it feel better. <laughs> you know, but anyway, yeah, I feel much better now. Yeah, placebo. So, uh, this is something we all deal with. You know, Spencer particularly uh, here. We've, we've been dealing with this for a little while, uh, but I know it's everybody in here, and it's I thought it was timely that, that Brian brought it up on Monday. Uh, so, two steps, I suppose. Do everything we can. And if there's an herbal helper, then proceed with caution.